I know this may be a very, very bad idea for a few different reasons. Number one, I brought a $1,000 baitcaster creek fishing, and we all know how tough creek fishing is on your gear and on your equipment. I'm getting swept away. <laughs> 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 number two, I have it on a five foot six spinning rod. And number three, I may seriously not even be able to cast this thing. The challenge. Just straight up try to catch a fish on this $1,000 baitcaster here at the creek. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome up here to the Fishing with Yak Pack YouTube channel. Before we get started, make sure you guys hit the thumbs up and subscribe. We are on the road to half a million subscribers by the end of the year. Yes, you heard that correct. I did in fact bring a $1,000 baitcaster here to the creek to try to catch a fish with it. And it is on a five foot six light spinning rod. Myself and April decided to go on a creek fishing mission today because last time we were here, we found a spot at the creek about a mile, mile and a half up the creek where we wanted to skip everything we would usually fish and then start there. So we're gonna make like a mile, mile and a half roughly walk up into this like new spot that Trey, April, or myself have not even fished yet. It's almost like untouched, unchartered territory. So I'm super excited for that. We've got our bag of baits and every other thing we're gonna need for this creek fishing mission. So without further ado, are you ready to go catch a fish on a thousand dollar bait caster here in the creek that makes no sense at all and that probably has never been put together in the same sentence in the history of earth but are you ready yeah let's go all right ladies and gentlemen we are here now at the spot that i told you guys we have never explored anything past this tree right here that leans over the creek last time we were here trey was over here in this corner and caught like a little two pound creek bass and uh that's pretty big for a creek so we're gonna continue to explore we didn't fish at all leading up to this point so we're gonna walk pretty much as far as we can walk that way we've got probably seven hours of daylight left give or take but we are really gonna put this thing to use right here now i just posted a video about a week or so ago where me trey and norm actually fished with this daiwa limit breaker and it, it's, it's daiwa limit breaker imz tw c hd so this is supposed to be one of the coolest newest inventions in the entire fishing world the box of this thing that it comes in literally says only use in japan well we're in a creek in florida we're not in japan so we're breaking the rules already but we've got i don't even know how far we walk are you ready to just walk it let's just get to walk it feels good being in the creek it's about 107 to 109 degrees true feel right now here in florida so i'm about to make a trip soon up to you folks up north maine idaho new york somewhere somewhere other than this treacherous floridian heat but all right i don't know how far we're going let's walk let's problem number one let's see if we can even cast this thing without backlight oh listen let's see what we got going on here is it gonna light up there it goes okay so that's Dang it, I can barely push this, but oh, it's green now. All right, I think this is something to do with the castability of the reel. There's like five or six different light colors that this reel comes, it's like blue, green, yellow, red, and I think purple. Uh, and all of them mean a different thing, but every single thing I can find about this reel is in Japanese and I'm not fluent yet in Japanese, but let's go ahead and give her a, a little test cast before we start walking and just see. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, and also again, we're on a, a spinning rod instead of a, a bait casting rod, but maybe we, let's see if we can rip this thing. Okay, so. It does control it pretty good. I, I'm, I'm not getting like super far cast, but I think we can make do with this today so far. Now we just gotta make our way up here. See if we can find something, catch something slip. I wanna catch that two pounder tray caught last time we were here. That thing was freaking ginormous for a creek bass. Dude, if I catch a singular fish on this reel, it will blow my mind. Oh, I just had a fish chase it. How about that? A little bluegill just chased it. Or a little sunfish of some sort. That's crazy. 
oh see that's what i'm afraid of With this lure being as light as it is lots of backlash activity probably going on today that's okay we're just gonna make do i knew i was most likely gonna be setting myself up where am i tied up at i knew i was gonna be probably setting myself up for failure doing this but i thought it'd be a fun little challenge to come out here with not only a bait caster on a spinning rod but like legitimately the world's most expensive bass fishing bait caster. Freaking thousand dollar reel. And I was like, you know what? I bought this thing to use it. Bro, this thing talks to you, listen. Okay, how do I get off of, what are we stuck on here? Where are you at? I'm stuck on this right there. See the bait right there, the oh, white bait? It. And this is stuck on this stick that I'm trying to, uh, uh. oh God, I can't okay. save All right, now I'm stuck on this. Is that your own line? Yeah, uh, okay. So I've got something right there. I broke something, ow. Uh. Okay, there's that, that's what I need. Okay, how are we stuck here? Oh my gosh, we're already off to a, a disastrous start, but that's okay. Wouldn't be creek fishing if there wasn't some sort of bait. mishaps involved, okay? All right, this is good, I think. Let's make sure. My bait is right here. <clears throat> I can't see anything, and I've got this fanny pack, so I, there's really not much I can do. I don't know. Don't, I just want to get the bait. Is it on that stick that's broke? Probably. I, do, I don't want to grab with my hands and get poked. What in the world did you do? Well, I just found out my rod was a two-piece rod. Okay. I didn't even know this thing was a two-piece rod. What the frick, dude? <laughs> this is all kinds of cattywampus. We've literally not even made it yet. Remember the tree I was just talking about right here leaning over the water? We've made it 10 feet past the tree. What in goodness gracious do we have going on here? Bent the hook all the way out. I'm going to go to the beach and retie. I knew. You know, it's just my kind of, uh, not luck I would say. It's just my kind of situation where when I go creek fishing, like it's not really my thing i've tried to learn a lot about it this year and it just really creek fishing really just be bullying me is what it is like every time i go to the creek it's just like i don't even know how to explain it it's just tough all right let's see what we're gonna go with we've got some bumping bugs oh we got some crickets i'm actually try no i'm gonna i'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna stick with this little bumping bug real quick with a little natural color Try that out, but we got some crickets and stuff too. Hey, come on. Hey, oh my god, you got a fish? You got, I got a fish? fish I got fish. Oh, let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go, sunfish. Let's go. Got me a little fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh, look at you. I just got done getting rigged up too. What you got? It was a little pumpkin seed looking thing? Yeah. You know about like a sunfish or something? Yeah. Look. Oh, that's that's one of those. Hang on, let me get my rod. I'm all tangled up and discombobulated right now. Look at the was colors. Oh so my gosh, pretty. that is a pretty fish. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Pet the fish, pet the fish. That's a really pretty fish. Mm -hmm. Wow. Let's all take right. it home. You gonna take it home, make it an aquarium fish? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, take the hook out of them, and I'll we'll get them back in the water. All right, buddy. You wanna hold your fish? Yeah. Scripping on the little, oh, look at his, there's so much blue in this fish. It's so pretty. Go ahead. I'm only holding it because it's so pretty. You're going to have to like lip him with your fingertips right there unless you want to. Just grab him by the little lippies. He ain't got no teeth. There you go. Might be a piranha. He could be. Okay, ready? All right, let's see. What you... Be free, buddy. Go. There he goes. There he go. Look. <laughs> Good job. He was so cute. Good job. Give me nuts. 
Hey, football fans, with the start of the NFL season right around the corner, I've partnered up with DraftKings, the official DFS partner of the NFL, to bring new customers an offer you don't want to miss. Right now, new customers can deposit $5 and get a $5 bonus ticket to play in the Week 1 Sunday Main Slate Fantasy Football Millionaire Contest. So what are you waiting for? Download the DraftKings app, use my promo code YAKPACKDFS, and play for the $1 million top prize with your first deposit. You heard that right. New customers can deposit just $5 and get a $5 bonus ticket into the Millionaire Contest. With your first deposit of $5, you can play for a shot at the $1 million top prize. To play, just draft your roster and your players earn points on their in-game performance. So what are you waiting for? Download the DraftKings app now. New customers use my promo code YAKPACKDFS, deposit just $5 and get a $5 bonus ticket into Sunday's DFS Millionaire Contest. That's promo code YAKPACKDFS only at DraftKings. Oh, oh my god, I have one! Oh, I have one on the freaking baitcaster! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! Yeah, that was crazy! Oh my god, that makes me. Oh, oh, oh! Oh man, okay, okay. okay. What do we got going on here? We don't want to lose this. There we go. Dang, well, I had a bite. I had a bite right here. We'll keep it moving. Dang, that's crazy. They don't count unless you catch the fish. This is crazy because this this bait catcher is like casting a 1 16 ounce little fishing lure right here. It's kind of crazy. Got to be something right here. Ooh. Oh God. Oh my God. Oh, we may be good. I seen you hook that. If you walk this way, you'll be good. Oh, oh my God! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Oh, let's go! <laughs> On the thousand dollar reel in the creek, baby, and it's a bass. Let's go! Good job! Oh, let's go! <laughs> I seen him chase me out. Yo, that's crazy! Oh my gosh. I told you there was going to be a big enough year. First creek fish. My actual first fish on this baitcaster because the other week when we filmed uh, Trey and Norm, they caught fish on it and I didn't even get a chance to. But first fish on the thousand dollar reel here at the creek. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Not a bad little bass. This looks like it's a little creek chalk tall bass. Dude, let's freaking go. All right, buddy. We'll get you back. We'll see you next time. Let's go. I'm him. Yeah, I'm proud of you for that. That was insane. I did not think my first reel on this was going to be a freaking... Look at all the fish over here. What are they doing? Did you? There's a thousand fish right now around my bait. That was actually crazy. It looks like there's a lot of like, a lot more like lay down type stuff in this, this part too, at least just from like right here. That's. I know, Trey's gonna be jealous. He is gonna be jealous because he did say he wanted to fish here like. Just last time we were here, we had Bella and Gunner with us. It was me, April, Trey, Bella and Gunner. And the problem with that is we don't know where this goes. Um, So, it's, it was just very hard to film that. Like if we had kept going this way, we don't know where we were going. So we didn't want to take Bell and Gunner on, on an adventure like that until we kind of scoped it out first. And then we'll bring them with us next time. If this is not bad enough. Oh, there's a little bass right there. Baby bass. Oh no. He already spoke it. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. The water's way more clear today than it's ever been here. So we gotta be like even more mega stealth mode. I'm gonna walk across right here and see what, uh, what we can do up here. Look, that's a little deep hole right here, huh? Mm -hmm. Dang.
dang it. I'm definitely getting the bites, but it also is definitely uh, getting, uh, it's hard, man, hard actually getting them hooked on this bait caster right here. Good Lord. This thing would be freaking 10 foot deep on a regular day. God, look at that drop. How are we gonna get up here? One foot at a time. Yeah, I know that. Dude, I used to be an athlete, I swear. I promise you guys I did. Oh, boys. Talk oh, about- I don't want you to have all the fun. Talk about a competitive edge here. Oh, look at that. I guess I am an athlete still. Dude, sometimes it just looks too good to not to not get a bite. Sometimes I don't understand it. Well. This just looks so fishy. Yet no fish. Interesting. Alright, well, let's keep going. Keep going, we got a storm coming in, looks like. Keep it moving? Yeah? All right. Oh, it's strong it's current right here. Up. I'm not going nowhere. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh, I got a good one. Oh, I got a good one. Oh, I got a good one. Oh, I didn't even see him. Let's go. Good job. Oh, let's go. Come here, buddy. Ow, you spawned me. Don't do that again. That hurts so bad. That's a good one. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. On, again, the thousand dollar. Dude. I just be creek stepping. Big creek stepper. Look Maybe the bait, bait caster's where it's at. Dude, it might be. Okay. This might, that's the two biggest fish I've ever caught in the creek. And it's also the most expensive reel I've ever brought to the creek. So maybe I might just have to keep bringing this a creek. Maybe I just might have to keep bringing the uh, Diable Limit Breaker to the creek instead of, uh, instead of to the ponds. Let's yeah. go. Let's go fish number three. Let's go. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, oh, <laughs> let's go. Oh, baby, jump. Do a dance. Do a dance for me. Yes, sir. Oh, my gosh. Let's freaking. <laughs> He's acrobatic, dude. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Dude choked it. Choked the bumping bug. Fish number three, bass number three for me. Oh my gosh, dude, I'm killing it out here today on the limit breaker. That blows my mind. Holy smokes, dude. Well, GoPro's overheating. Typical Floridian activities right here, but all right, buddy. Thanks for playing. Third Creek Fish. I just caught it again with my hand. <laughs> you not want to go back, buddy? There you go. Okay. Third Creek Fish for me on the Dawa limit breaker and that might even be the best creek fishing day I've had so far in our creek fishing little adventures here. Mm -hmm. That's three bass for me in one day here in the creek. Usually I catch a lot of like sunfish, pumpkin seed and stuff like that. But no, today, I'm him. <sighs> well, ladies and gentlemen, we've been walking for probably, I don't know, probably coming up on two hours now. That's what I, it feels like. Yeah, I was about to say, it feels, it feels like it's been about two hours. I haven't looked at the clock yet, but we've uh, we've actually been having, dude, it's been crazy. Caught a few fish so far. Still, what do you think? Like how much further do you think you want to go? Cause it goes around the corner right here. I can't even tell 
Like, see, it goes straight around the corner there. I don't even know. Maybe like 30 more minutes. 30 more minutes? So, like, that's what we used to do in the Army. We'd run 30 out, 30 back. Yeah. Just 30 minutes out, 30 far minutes. as we can run. Yeah, let's do that. 30 minutes, far as we can make it. And we got probably about two and a half hour uh, little stroll back. But as you can see, over there is the pretty blue skies right over there. And this is all some sort of uh, storm system here. Been hearing thunder for like 30 minutes. Yeah, it's been thundering for a little bit, but we'll keep fishing. 30 minutes. Catch we'll see what all the fish. Catch all the fish. That's why they call all us the them. Creek Commanders. You did so good. I'm so stinking proud of you. That's so fishy right there. Did you hear me? What? This is stopping my line. What is stopping it? This. Okay, it's gonna do that, babe. It does mine too. Oh, what kind of sound was that? You got a hook behind you. Golly, this, I've been like, though I've had a great day here on the creek, arguably the best day I've had creek fishing ever. Um, it is, I've worked for it. This has been, it's been freaking tough. Oh, oh you're, on, you're hooked. I see your bait right there. If you go, you can walk right up to that. Oh God. The reel talks to you when you backlash. It's funny. Something just freaking nibbled me right there. Oh, I got one. I got one. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Fish number four. Let's go. Oh, baby. Oh, it's a little another one of them little pumpkin little seed pumpkin type head. fish. Ooh, yes, sir. Dude, look at how he ate that thing. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Ow. Ow. Get you a fix back up real quick. He's like sucking on my finger. Another very beautiful creek fish. You gotta love it, man. Palm size. Dude, I'm having a freaking blast today. This is so freaking awesome. I think that actually might be what they call like a long ear sunfish, red ear sunfish. That's not red ears, that's black. That's a crazy little flat this dude's got right there though. Yeah, very interesting. Yeah, I know one thing. These things are freaking loaded in here. All right, buddy. We will catch you next time. See you. <laughs> Let's go. I mean, you can't catch me. I'm letting the creek I'm not like... only got one by all that. You have? No, you got no. way more than one. Got him, got him, got him, baby. Got him, let's go, let's go. Oh, son, you are no match for the limit breaker. No match at all, baby. Babe, come and fish this right here. I, I just cast it, there's a hole right here. This is definitely the smallest fish of the day. But again, crunching it. Limit breaker's putting in work today, boys. Putting in work. See ya. Right back to the hole. Oh my God, did you see that? That was absurd. That was actually absurd. Did you see that? No. He jumped out of the water. Oh my God, please tell me I was recording. He jumped out of the water to get this bait. That was absurd. That was probably the coolest fish catch of my entire life <laughs> ever. Oh my it. God, this is a freaking large mouth too. This is a uh, Choctaw bass. Oh my God. Bro, what? Jumped out of the water. Like, I, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I don't even know what I'm trying to explain. 
when you cast your bait and it's going over a tree limb and you're dangling it like this in and out of the water it came out of the water and he freaking jumped out of the water for it you didn't see that no, oh my god that is crazy large mouth here in the creek first largey of the day oh my goodness that's actually the first large mouth that i've ever caught in the creek so that is really really cool man let's freaking go all right my man thanks for playing we will catch you next time see ya dude that was the freaking sickest catch i've ever done in my life oh my god oh my god i don't even know what to do anymore that's got to be the sickest creek eat i've ever seen in my life was it recorded yeah that was nuts that was freaking absurd Oh, you got a fish! Let's go! I got a fish. Let's go! Let's go! I got a oh, let's go! I thought I was stuck on something. Oh my god! I swear. Look, I got me a bass. This is—I think this is my. No, it's not my first bass. But it's my first big bass of the creek. Let's yeah. go! That is a, I think that's a Choctaw, I believe. Yeah. Maybe that's a largemouth. I'm not, no, that's definitely one of the little Choctaw bass, though. So that's this like a creek a, specific fish. This is a spotted bass. What? That's a spotted bass? Because I got teeth. No. What do I feel right there? Uh, just gripping. Nice shades. <laughs> oh, man. There you go. No, this is a different braid. He's got little teeth. Okay. There you go. Just pinch him hard. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There you go. Just pinch him hard. You good? No. Pinch him hard. He's gonna get go. He's gonna get gone. He's gonna get gone. Let's freaking go. You know what you need? The fish grippies. Your fish grippies. Yep. Yeah. That's actually. Let me see. Don't let him go yet. Hang on. That is not. You're good. That might not be. A spotted bass. That I don't think it's a spot. It almost looks like a smallie. No. I swear. As soon as I cast, I was like. What am I dragging? A, a maybe fish? that is a, yeah, maybe that is a, it's just really dark. It's definitely not a large mouth. I think that might be one of them little Choctaw bass. It's just a really, really dark one. There you go. We'll grip them by the mouth and like dip them in the water and then just let them go. Good catch. Say what's up to YouTube. Hey. Give me a kiss. Mm. Fish kisses. All right, let's let them go and let them grow. Oh, Ooh, there it goes. Another way. See you, dude. Look how cute they look when they're swimming like in the shallow. I know, right? Good job, babe. That was awesome. Did you hear what I said? What am I stuck on? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I and thought I was dragging something the whole time. I was dragging a fish. Yep, that's how it goes. I was dragging a stick. It is cool, though, that I finally figured out this reel. Like, I'm able to actually make decent casts with it. I still just need to like study up on this reel and actually figure out all the settings and everything. There's like an app that you use for this reel on your phone and it dials in the settings and everything like just some crazy stuff. Crazy technology. I figured if something crazy was going to happen, it was going to be Dawa or Shimano to make that happen. They just, they just, oh, oh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap this video up. We ended up having a very, very good day at the creek with the very expensive bait caster i did not expect this day to go as good as it did uh, i didn't expect to actually catch anything at all on that bait caster on a spinning rod a five foot six ultralight spinning rod at that but we made it work and i had probably the most insane fish catch i've ever had in my life just in the situation that i was in with the gear that i had and the location that i was at the fish jumped out of the water and bit that bait that was absolutely insane but anyways make sure you guys check out DraftKings link down in the description below and be on the lookout for some more videos with that Dawa limit breaker reel and like i said in the first video it's very possible that i film a few more videos using that reel and then probably just give it to one of you guys because number one that would be a really cool gift to give to somebody a thousand dollar bait caster like that would be insane and after i get all my use and video stuff out of it then why not share the love with one of you guys but anyways love you guys thanks again for watching catch you on the next adventure peace oh that was bad there we go